everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy Fidel. Welcome to another day in my 2024 holiday card series. Hey, hi, hello. If you missed Monday's video, I am taking this week to use up as many of my scraps as I can. It just got to be a little overwhelming. It took up too much space on my desk. And I was like, you know what? I just need to sit down and figure out card kind of layer bases for these. And that's what I've been doing. So in Monday's video, I did a bunch of card bases. And in today's video, we're gonna turn some of those card bases into cards using some die cuts from Doodlebug. So in all of this paper, I have a lot of Doodlebug. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> they're my favorite. And I had quite a few pieces that had gingerbread on them. And I'm like, you know what? Let me make some, you know, gingerbread, gingerbread card layers and I can use those die cuts to go with. And that's what we've done today for today's video. So I think I have four cards, four or five cards. I honestly can't remember just how many. Still no stamping today, but we're gonna be stamping in Friday's video for sure. So if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a comment. Leave a comment on all of my videos for your chance to win a prize at the end of every month. I'm gonna pick one video randomly and then a comment randomly and they're gonna be the winner of the prize for that month. I have a prize for September, October, and November. I probably have one for December too, but my memory is not very great and I already made them and put them aside. <laughs> so yeah. So anywho, that's it. Be sure to leave a question if you have any. Let me know what you think of this series. I mentioned in Monday's video, I started a Project Use Your Stuff earlier in the year. I've been trying to work my way through um, my hoard of pattern paper and Lawn Fawn just, just came out with one, the candy cane stripe one. And I'm like, Missy, you cannot buy another pad of paper until you use up some paper. So I am in it to win it with this. <laughs> Yeah. Anywho, I don't have, think I have anything else to tell you, and yeah, so let's head over to the craft table, and I'll walk you through today's set of cards. All right, friends, before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to say a quick apology if this ended up going up late. We lost internet again. I don't know what it is with our um, fibers and frontier, but this is the second time in like three weeks we've lost internet. Luckily, this time we just lost it for a couple of days, not an entire weekend like we did the last time. So I have sped up this first part to like um, 800 times speed because we've already seen me do this. Um, I just kind of cut and pasted from my last video. That's why sometimes you see more paper and then you see less paper. And like I've said before, I just kind of turn on the camera and then just go and so I've tried to edit it into um, more cards so I'm making five cards in this video these cards will be available in my Etsy shop at some point as a set of five and um, hopefully I will get that done this weekend I will let you know in Friday's video if I do or not so for this first card I had this paper left over from the MFT or in the MFT um, paper pad that I pulled for my project use it up and I had two strips of gingerbread that are um, vertical. And I thought, what am I gonna do with these? <laughs> so I went ahead and kind of created my own little layer here with them and the um, stripe paper. I am adding the um, kind of tearing tapes, um, score pal tape, etc., on the back because I'm gonna be adhering this to glitter cardstock. And I've mentioned before that you want a really good, strong adhesive when you do that. I'm doing the same thing to the um, the small one. This has um, Christmas words all over it. And I'm using the same piece of paper to cut them out together. Um, and that is another full piece of paper that got used up. And I'm really excited for that. I used up so much paper. I think I have three or four sheets more, but those will hopefully be used up on Monday. Friday's cards, more than one, um, will feature, if you saw my haul, I have those little, are they called cabochons? The little animals, that flat backed resin ones. I made um, some cards using those and I'm excited for you to see those. Quick, simple, easy, but really, really cute because of the cute little added animal. So this is kind of a go-to sketch for me if you guys watch me for any amount of time. Um, I really like this. Normally the vertical paper is two by five and a quarter and the one across is um, two by four and a quarter or four or four and an eighth. 
Sometimes I do eighth inch um, because that's just what I enjoy. And I am getting this adhered to a piece of pink cardstock. And then I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the image. So when in doubt, doodle bug it out. <laughs> that's my new saying. <laughs> These are die cuts. I think they call them odds and ends I don't remember they've changed it a couple of times but these are from last the last year's is it gingerbread kisses or gingerbread lane I can never remember anyway these are from last year adorable if you didn't know this about me number one I love Christmas and number two I love gingerbread to a point where there's a stationery store that I follow that has done a gingerbread advent calendar it's like $160 and I told her, like, I really, really want it, but it's so expensive. <laughs> I don't think I could buy it for myself and justifying having $160 worth of gingerbread themed stationery, but so, so cute. I've also wanted some, like a couple of years ago, I thought that I was going to make my own gingerbread houses out of dollhouses. I don't know why I thought that or why I thought I could put together a dollhouse, but yeah. So here is the finished card. The colors are a little off because it was cloudy when I took these videos, so I or took these photos. I apologize for that. So here I'm using one of the pieces of the striped paper. It kind of has the um, doodlebug does these strips that has like a piece of every paper that's in the pattern paper pack, misty words. And so I really like that. And I thought I would use this. If you saw me make the Tiana card for stamp anything, this was left over. And then I decided to add some ribbon. So this is just some hot pink satin ribbon from my stash. Um, I bring, or I didn't bring in, but you should bring in, if you have one, a lighter to kind of light the end so it doesn't fray. My lighter is out of butane. So um, I wasn't able to do that, but that's something I do suggest. Um, so the gingerbread one is like very food themed, kind of kitchen oriented. And so there's this little cute little cupcake tower that I thought was adorable. And then I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put beside it, but I didn't get there. And I'm going to be adhering this with tearing tape as well. Again, strong adhesive works the best. I promise. Hi, Roxy. You want to go out? You want to get out? You have to let me finish, okay? Let me get this done. <clears throat> so here's a cute look at it. I love it. Isn't that paper just perfect? Oh, it's so perfect. So we're moving on to card number three. So this, these are more of those strips. And then I had this one lone strip of gingerbread left. And I thought, you know what? I think it would be fun to kind of do something with all of the different patterns. So again, going through all of the paper, trying to decide what I wanted to use, what I had, etc. So I brought in a card layer. These are ones that I've kept, in, I keep in my drawer. I think I mentioned them before. Um, I keep them around so I can put them in my, um, inside of my cards. So I'm trying to figure out what um, papers I want to go with these little gingerbread. And I decide to have a gap in the middle, I think. Or maybe it's not a gap. Yeah, no. I decide to have the um, pink, kind of pink in the middle. So I'm adding the top and the bottom first so I can get those adhered. And then I'm going to go in and add the other two. And I really love this background. You'll probably see me do this again at some point in the series. I love that bit of white in the middle. And I love how easy this was to use up scraps so I had this pink rectangle that have already been cut out and it's stitched so I went ahead and adhered that in the middle and then I brought in a white note card um, and then I found some paper um, that I could adhere it to and then made it a card for the front I really debated on this one you can see I kind of went through three or four different ones before deciding on the cupcakes that you're going to see and um, again, I love this collection so much and it's really hard for me to use them up. Um, I love the cards I made last year with this. If I can remember, I'll try to find that video and link it down below. Like I said, some companies may still have this. I get most of my paper from a cherry on top or scrapbook.com. They carry Doodlebug for sure. I've mentioned before that I don't follow St Simon, Sa Simon Says Stamp. I don't purchase from them. And the reason why I don't is because of Stamp Timber. And it's just my personal preference. I hate step stamp timber for a couple of reasons. Number one, I hate how horrible it is on the environment. 
But more importantly than that, I hate how expensive it is, especially for people who are international. So if you're unfamiliar, Simon Says Stamp partners with a different card crafting company, stamp company, every single day for the month of September. And that day is the only day those stamp sets are available. And they're, they're, that's it. They're exclusive and they're only available for probably two hours of even. They have a flat rate shipping, or they did, for $7.95 if you're in the U.S. So if you want to purchase one stamp set every single day, it's going to cost you $7.95 a day just to ship. It should only cost like $5 at the most to ship. So that's my first issue. And then for international people, it's even worse. It's even worse. And they have this, they like, they make it this kind of scarcity mindset about it and they sell out. Yeah, but at the expense of your customers. And so it just really left a bad taste in my mouth. And then that owner years and years ago with Jennifer McGuire went to a, a Joann's and bought all of their Tim Holtz stuff on sale. And the caption was like, you know, we want you to, we want to be the only place you go for Tim Holtz. And I just thought that was a little tacky. <laughs> so again, it's really a personal thing. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think which would, I would prefer would be release them all. And they're available September 1st, September 30th. And you can still highlight each stamp set each day, but you're not forcing people to pay astronomical amounts of money in shipping to get these limited edition exclusive stamp sets. I just, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. So that's, that's my thoughts. Um, I'm probably one of the only people without opinion, but I just, I don't know. I just, it just rubs me the wrong way, especially right now in this economy. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like it's, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word I'm looking for. It's just, I don't know. I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> But that's my thoughts. All right, here is a look at all five cards, friends. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, don't forget that I will be back on Friday with another um, set of cards in the holiday card series. Subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you Friday for another card. Thanks so much. Bye for now.